Hey everybody, it's Josh from Walnut Ridge Family RV. Now we're gonna show how to hitch and unhitch just a, a traditional fifth wheel. So we have our Demco Recon back of our service truck here. I'm gonna hook up to this Cougar. So I kind of have it pre-set up a little bit, but you're gonna get uh, lined up with the Cougar. I had a tailgate down already. Obviously that's super important. You're not gonna be able to back underneath here. Uh, but what I like to do is start with the, the surface of the kingpin here about an inch or so lower than the surface, uh, the top surface of the hitch. So now when we back this underneath it, it's gonna kinda, you can see they're beveled and it's gonna kinda just follow it down. We'll have a nice tight fit. Everything's gonna go in where it should be. If we had this too high to where the jaws can't come across this cutout in the kingpin and it may not latch properly um, and it's gonna make it a little bit difficult to hook up. You could end up going too far back and, and tilting the head forward, which you know, it depends on how much space you have back here, but you don't want to take a chance of maybe getting your tailgate into the door. So I always start with this about an inch lower than the top surface of the uh, fifth wheel hitch itself. And then we're, we have nothing behind us, uh, nothing in the way. We've made sure we're safe. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to lock this out, the latch out. So now we're ready to drive underneath. When we go underneath, it's going to hit a trigger and this will automatically go in. And then we'll double check to make sure that goes in all the way, pin it. And then we can move on to the legs and stuff. So I'll go ahead and back this into the hitch so you can see that. Okay, now, as long as our pin will go down through this, we know that we've latched all the way. But that's not the only thing that I'm gonna make sure that this goes all in. Typically, I would leave the truck running uh, just to make sure I've got it in place in case I have to move it. But for the video, we didn't wanna have too much noise, so I went ahead and shut it off. But I know this locked in tight. You could see when I came back, I wasn't lined up 100% perfect, but that's okay, because there's angles on the, on the hitch itself uh, that'll kind of it'll kind of maneuver around with you to get under it's another good reason why we have this about an inch lower is so you have that pressure uh so that the hitch can move where it needs to go and, and uh, lock that fifth wheel in tight so we've got a nice tight fit i always step back behind it and take a look and make sure that the latch went across the jaw which i don't know if you can see from there but you can see right up in there our bar is all the way across it so we know we're, we're locked in tight there now is the time we could go ahead and close the tailgate. Obviously we would get our breakaway cable hooked to the hitch, pull our seven way uh, pin out of here. We have a plug in the bed of this one. We plug it in there or it can drape over and plug into the back of the truck. That's not gonna hurt anything. But now it's just a matter of running the legs up. This one is convenient because we have a leveling system in here. So I can go in and uh, auto retract the rear, um, oh, what's auto retract all and all i gotta do is hit enter and that's gonna it's gonna go ahead and run these legs all the way up for us once the legs get all the way up it's gonna be a lot like if you watch the anderson hitch same style of legs on that then we'll have to pull that pin and run those up so we'll let this finish out and then i'll show you from there where we go Okay, now, as long as we went ahead and hooked up our breakaway cable and our seven-way pin, close our door, make sure our tailgate's secure, um, go in and check our lights and everything on this, we're ready to, to tow. We're ready to haul this thing down the road. Um, this is a long bed truck, so we don't have to have, actually that is, yeah. Uh, so we don't have to have a slider hitch. Slider hitches be a little different if you have a manual one, there's some other, things to give you the clearance. Most of the time you don't need it on your standard towing. It's usually when you're tight maneuvering. Um, but that's the, the hitching process. Now we can pretend like we've just backed this into our spot. We made sure everything is level enough 
for our auto level to work on this. We're ready to drop this off the truck. So the first thing that we would want to do, drop these legs down, which we're, we're going to be okay on this one. We always want to make sure that that goes all the way in. You can see it didn't come all the way through just on its own when I first did it. So always make sure that that goes through all the way. But where we're at on level ground, we have to really worry about the leveling uh, so much. So we could leave this all the way down, but you would want to look at your terrain. If you're on a down slope, you may actually want to leave. You know, we would probably pull this. Maybe, maybe there, count the holes, make it even on the other side. You see that pin didn't go all the way in again. I'd have to hit that. Um, and then run the legs down from there. That'd give us some play to move up or down if we needed to. This particular one, we don't really need to. We're not gonna actually do a full auto level. So we could go ahead and drop this to the ground, let it come up to the first hole. Make sure that goes all the way. Same on that one. And the reason I do that to make sure this pin goes all the way through, if that was to stick out here where it was, where it's not coming through the backside of this, now when I put the weight down, it could bend this pin and damage this snap pin assembly, which it's also gonna make that unstable. Could eventually damage the leg too. Could even bend out the holes on the leg enough that it wouldn't retract up in there. And then you'd have a hard time, if you did do that, wouldn't be able to track them up to take it down the road with a leg. Obviously you wouldn't pull it with a down low like this because you're gonna hit all kinds of stuff, cause some damage to the camper, some people around you could injure some people. So you always wanna make sure that that goes all the way through and you see it on the other side. Okay, now you don't wanna go ahead and unlock the hitch just yet with having the legs just down from there it would be enough to catch it it probably wouldn't hit on here but just in case maybe you didn't get your truck uh, all the way in park or, or or you forgot to do something or maybe you're on enough of a slope and the wheel isn't chalked yet that this thing could roll you don't want to take a chance of the kingpin hitting the tailgate or this hitting the top of the bed so i always run these legs down get pressure on it first so this one all we got to do is hold this front button So you can see we're kind of taking the, the weight off the trailer. Since we're going to unhitch this, we can go ahead and, and put most of the weight on there. And you probably couldn't see it when I did it. I'm going to lower this back down and show you real quick here. Okay, now if we focus on the hitch in between, what you're going to watch for when I'm lifting this up, you'll see I'll just get some separation. You'll see daylight in between them. And that's what I'm looking for when I run these up. So you can see now I've got it separated from the hitch. The weight of the trailer is actually on the legs. That's what I was talking about. You wouldn't want to hook up that way because you may not necessarily get lined up correctly, but when you're unhooking, you're okay to get that daylight in there. And then now we would go ahead and get this pin out. Actually, before I do that, the tailgate, just in case something catastrophic goes wrong, we don't want to have the tailgate in the way. So I don't think there's going to be anything. Now we just pull this out to unlock it. But I want to stress something here before I do that. Like I can pull this, it's going to be easy. I can tell that's going to come out easy. Sometimes you go to pulling this and you, and you, you know, it kind of takes everything you have. You can't get this to pull out. What's going on sometimes there, if we're on an upslope and the trailer kingpin is sitting back against this bar on the hitch, it's putting all that pressure on and then this is very difficult to pull out. So you may need either somebody to help you Put a chalk behind the wheel of the camper back the truck up uh, into it just a little bit so you can get that pressure off set the parking brake on the truck so that way it doesn't roll forward when you put it in park um, but it, whatever you got to do to get the, the the pressure off of this bar that's going to cross on the kingpin but this one i know we're on pretty level ground it's going to come right out I'm just going to pull that out and lock it in place also sometimes kingpins get worn out these things are bouncing getting pulled down the road uh, it is just metal on metal. You have a loop plate in there for the turning and stuff, but you know, over time that, that metal can fatigue. There we go. Good example. Didn't stay locked in place, which could be a problem getting unhooked. Now I've got it locked. It probably won't do that again. But if it, if you're pulling and you can't get that locked, that's why they put this secondary hole. So you can get that pin and stick in there to keep this out. If you don't have somebody, maybe they can help you hold this handle. So uh, we run into that sometimes with people trying to unhook. You just can't pull it out of there because this just keeps going back in on you. It's not supposed to. So pull that out. We've unplugged our seven way off the back of the truck. We've taken our 
I'm gonna have to pin this thing. <laughs> We've taken our uh, breakaway cable off. Nothing is attached now except for the trailer sitting here inside the, the hitch and we're ready to pull this thing out. So, without taking a chance of pulling this out, I must have enough pressure against it. We'll just stick that in. Now it's not gonna be able to go in, so we ought to be able to pull the trailer out. So I'll go ahead and pull the trailer out. Okay. I can see we're unhooked. I'll get myself planted. I'll go ahead and get my tailgate up and go park the truck. Begin our auto leveling process on the trailer and get ready for a fun weekend of camping. <laughs> 